so i will be using this uh, 1.4 liter kombucha bottle for the plasma tube the bottle is quite heavy and the glass is also quite thick so it will hold up good in the vacuum and i'll be using this candle holder from dollar store for the end cap i'm gonna cut the bottle from here with the help of this uh, glass bottle cutter uh, i could use it like this but then uh, it won't look very symmetrical with this uh, part here so it's gonna score the bottle This should be good enough so I will be using this nichrome wire attached to the screws to heat up the bottle it pulls about 10 amps at 17 volts and I have also pre chilled the glass bottle in the fridge so that I don't have to put cold water on it and it should crack pretty easily So I will be using this drill bit and this 8mm diamond drill bit to make the hole in this end cap and the plasma tube. So going to submerge it in water and start drilling. So this is what it looks like. I've also roughened up the surface of the bottom of the plasma tube so that the epoxy will stick better to it. I'm also gonna be adding this uh, aluminum oxide to epoxy. This improves the dielectric strength and the thermal conductivity of epoxy. I did a bunch of tests in my another video I will list below it in the description you can also check that out so this is what it looks like after the epoxy is fully dried you don't have to add aluminum oxide but if you do it will only improve its performance and here at the bottom I 3D printed this mold for the silicone. Try to remove it. I covered this mold in a little bit of Vaseline, so it will be easier to remove the silicone. I used uh, two parts silicone for this bottom part of the 
plasma tube and the end cap and the silicone was dried for more than 12 hours and the epoxy was dried for uh, 48 hours I also degassed the epoxy before putting it here all right so this is the security part the vacuum has been running for almost 10 minutes and now I'm gonna release the vacuum I also put that weight on top of the end cap so it will be easier to achieve a vacuum seal Everything good. So, seems like the vacuum seal is good. Alright, so this is the first test and we're gonna see it together. Yay! Yes! I only turned it on for like 5 seconds. So the voltage is now 50 volts and I'm gonna try to touch it. So now I'm going to turn it on continuously and go from 35 volts to 70 volts. So here we go. 